I was listening to a really good podcast actually today, this morning, um, with um, a guy called Christopher Ryan. Um, the podcast is called Tangentially Speaking and it speaks to a guy called Charles Einstein. I'm not sure if he's any relation to the famous Albert Einstein, but it's a really interesting podcast because he basically touches quite briefly on... Um, no, it's not It's not Charles Einstein. It's actually another podcast. It's the one with uh, Aubrey Marcus. It's, it's with a guy called Mark ha- Manson. And the podcast is number 205 and it's called The Problem of Hope. And it's a really good podcast because it touches really briefly on the concept of depression, right? It's just something along the lines of um, depression isn't feeling sad. Depression is hopelessness, right? The feeling that, you know, there's nothing that you can do that can change your mood, that's going to affect your future, that's going to make things better. It's that kind of like extreme hopelessness. And it touched a nerve with me because obviously over the last few weeks and stuff, I've been feeling a little bit hopeless, right? When it comes to just my life and what I've been doing in general and my journey so far and you know bouncing around from job to job and stuff and kind of feeling as if like maybe the bouncing around from job to job and you know the the last couple of jobs haven't really been my fault right they've been kind of outside of my control the fact that the companies have kind of gone under and the fact that they're run by absolute stupid inept brain dead um i don't know you know an absolute sorry excuse for entrepreneurs but some of the things that led me to those positions are completely my fault and i take extreme where's the book here so i can see it i take extreme ownership of the situation right it's completely my fault in that regard i take extreme ownership of it that i probably have put myself in a position where I was trying to get it. I was trying to get jobs that allowed me more, more. What's that thing called ownership, right? Uh, that would essentially, if you get a job that requires that lets you have more ownership, the understanding is that you get more management experience. And management experience means you get more of a salary. And salary means that your career prospects kind of um, uh, broaden. But obviously, you know, as you guys have known, I've not really been. Uh, my ambition has never been to kind of be work my way up a company and, and become like general manager or become a CEO or CTFO or managing partner, wherever it may be. My ambition is always kind of to do my own thing, whether it's this, whether it's DJing, whether it's writing, whether it's photography, whether it's commentary, whatever it may be. Just like whatever this is, this is my overall ambition. So I guess when you have those goals in your head, it can, you can sometimes get a bit. You can sometimes get a bit um, erratic, and you can sometimes not think 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 through things. You can sometimes not think things through clearly and now i'm in a space where i'm thinking through i'm thinking things through i'm thinking things through clearly why, why does that take so hard to say i don't know why. why why is that so hard to say for me anyway now i'm thinking things through clearly and i'm really like you know mellowed out and also i have like a clear goal in mind where you know the stuff that i'm doing at work is feeding into stuff that i'm doing here so all the money that i'm making from work is feeding into this and it's feeding into my djing whatever it may be and I'm I'm kind of lasered into what I want to do. That's made things easier. But I think in the beginning when I wasn't, I was basically trying to look for things that were going to inspire me, motivate me and get my dreams going through work. And of course, you know, that's a recipe for disaster, right? It's sort of like looking for love and relationships and stuff. That's not going to happen, right? Or looking for a particular kind of love and relationship, right? You can only They can only give you what they can offer. And you have to kind of, you know, be happy with that. Um, same with the job, right? They can only give you what they have, right? And if it's a mess, if it's a bit of bullshit and you're not liking it, it's less about the company, more so about you. So now I guess I'm in a place where I'm like, you know, instead of come complaining, oh, this place is rubbish. Uh, it's like, no, no, the place isn't rubbish because there's, you know, 30, 30 plus people working there who are more than happy to work there and have a good time. It's you that's actual your problem about it. You don't like where you're working. So that's fine. No problem. I don't like where I'm working. Um, But you have to make the change in that way. But, you know, over time, you can sometimes get a little bit, it's hard to motivate yourself. You get a bit down. So I, I think that was, that's what I was feeling going on what this guy, um, uh, Mark Manson said on the Aubrey Marcus podcast episode number 205 I was feeling hopeless and that was kind of maybe the hint of depression I had but then obviously over time you know you kind of get over it and you kind of put, see the wood for the trees and I basically just realized you know the only way I'm going to change this the only way I'm going to be able to affect my mood is if I do something about it is if I make some changes and I kind of go back to how I was previously right a few years ago where I was like on my fucking you know head down journey and really kind of chasing things I was waking up really early and work, working out. I was reading a lot of books. Like now, I've, I've still got a couple of books I haven't read this month that I need to really finish before I buy some new ones. I was um, not going out as much. And if I was going out, it was for a specific purpose. I was going to see someone play and I was coming straight back home. I had a really lasered in focus on what I was doing. And I don't want to, and I want to go back to that kind of person I was previously. And that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to just kind of reduce the stress, go back to what I was doing and get, and get back to that um, lane. But